right, welcome back to another episode. We finally made it to the Grand Design area. Let's get in here. Let's not waste any time. Let's go. This is absolutely the Honey's Wonderland, and I'm so excited to go through as many of these as possible. She was telling me about the Imagines. I was telling her they don't exist. I thought she was imagining it, but here they are right there, and she's gonna get to go through as many as she wants because we've got all the time in the world we actually don't because we gotta get to this meet and greet. We gotta get to this meet and greet, so we have about an hour to get through as many of these as possible, and what are we looking for first? M, M, M what? What is it M, called? M what? M what? Influence. The Imagine or the Influence? The Influence. All right, I influenced her to say that because she was imagining that the Imagines existed. So these are pretty cool. We're going to get a look here in just a second. Is this the one we saw the other day? Yeah, the 391 DL. That one was so cool. That one has one of the best layouts, I think, and I definitely would like to maybe upgrade to that one day if we can find a nanny. That would be cool, right? Absolutely. I would die for a nanny. Yes, that would be this nice. Is well, I don't want you to die because then I'd need a replacement for you and a nanny, so oh, please yeah, don't die. Horrible. Yeah, that would be horrible. All right, so I found the back wall of Solitudes, and we're going to get in here as soon as we can. The honey's checking this out. What do you see? Entrance. Did we go the right way? I have so the no map clue. is like backwards. I think we came in through, yeah, maybe. Okay, maybe. so we did this. Okay. Now we need to go this way. Okay, so these are all Solitudes right here. These three, I'm going to guess, right? Because that's what we're looking at right there. Solitude, solitude, solitude. Yeah, but look, I need the orange. Yes, yeah, so we need to find the influence, which is right down there, so let's just keep going. Okay, yep. But I want to check out these solitudes. On the way back, please, please, please. Okay. All right, so the first one on our list is the influence. This is the 3704 bunkhouse, so this would be the most appropriate one for us, the guy was saying, because he saw how many kids we had. Getting into the bathroom, it looks just like ours, except this is beautiful. And I love the white, of course. Everything in ours is like that cream colored, which I'm not a huge super fan of, but I also don't dislike it. I really wish they would have upgraded this to the full body. That would be super duper cool. And this just looks like ours. But look at these handles. That is so unique. I like these a lot. And the toilets, they're huge. Maybe that's just something Solitude does. They make these super huge toilets because, I don't know, because it's the best, I guess. But here we're getting back into the master bedroom and this is a huge bed and I love, love, love that they put additional space up top for you to put whatever you needed. And then a couple of differences from ours to this one is they did put the washer dryer hookup in the closet but I do not like the big closet door because I'm the type that likes to fold my clothes right out of the dryer and it would be super duper difficult to just put it away you'd have to keep closing the door and that's kind of an annoyance i would make this like an accordion style sliding door of some sort but you did lose a lot of the uh, closet space there with having the washer dryer hookups in here but they did add a little bit more space up top and these actually don't go in as deep as ours do either so a little bit of a downgrade from ours all right coming into the kitchen area they have the beautiful looks like a residential fridge and everything is looking black now i think they're they're switching from the silver to the black and wow that is humongous the honey would never be able to reach up here which is great because i can hide the good snacks in there and i love the way they changed up the pantry and look now they're coming with the travel fi wi-fi stuff that is so neat this is a lot smaller than ours as well so that's just enough for your coffee stuff i like having ours way deep you can put a lot more things into it but also in the kitchen they upgraded from the four burner to the three burner i do call it an upgrade because you have a lot more space because i don't think anybody's using all four burners like there's no way you're not making a full four course meal on these stoves just two would be enough if i had to guess and you do have additional counter space over here which we do not have like that and that is beautiful the microwave looks exactly the same which is great giant reachable pantries and, and cabinets as well as additional counter space next to the upgraded sink which i absolutely love i really really wish we could upgrade to this maybe that's coming in the future that would be nice let's see what we got under here plenty of space if you wanted to add a dishwasher if you really wanted to i was thinking that it might not be the most necessary to have a dishwasher that takes super duper long time to wash dishes when you can just wash a couple of quick ones yourself not bad plenty of space there all right look at that the honey's right there check it out i like the door coming off the side but i do like our back bathroom as well the baby is already making herself at home this only has two bunks honey but this bunk up here is huge i do love having this dresser right here this is perfect for their little workstations they could easily do some homework there and check out these super long storage areas that is exactly what they need because they need more clothes than they do anything else they need more storage for clothes 
And wow, that is massive. The honey would absolutely love this. She could actually put an additional ra uh, ra rail right here to hang up more of their clothes. And then on this side, of course, you have the flip up bed. And then underneath it is the couch that we ended up removing. But this looks nice because this actually turns into a bed. So this could be a triple bunk if you really wanted it to. And just like ours, it's got the outdoor kitchen that actually looks almost identical, except the fridge is... Actually, I think that is just about identical. Lodge, they upgraded to Lodge. That's pretty cool. I do like that. And let's check out the space in here. Ooh, that's nice. I think somebody forgot this. That is a beautiful cup. I like that a lot. But let's check into here, see what type of space we're looking at. I think it's just about the same as ours. And this might actually fit a dishwasher, especially that little Hermesin one that we have. This might fit perfectly in there if you like to use your outdoor kitchen a lot, which we have not yet. We really don't use it at all. I use it for storage mostly, especially with the fridge. It's where I keep all the adult beverages, like the soft drinks and stuff like that. And then on the outside over here, we do have the bay. Ooh, look, it's got like a lip right here. That's kind of nice. And then it comes up, but you do lose space, I think. Maybe let's see why they did that. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe the tank is actually right here now. And there's definitely areas that are more accessible in this one than in ours. But we're gonna take a look at what it's equipped with for the fifth wheel. It is the Rhino box, which is really nice. I think it's the exact same one that we have, so I do like that as well. It comes with generator prep right here. That's where you would house your generator, plenty of battery space. And around the other side, you've got your hookup area which they did move that i do love that they put the door up instead of swinging your electrical has been moved back a little bit which is more convenient i think because it, most campsites you'll find that the electrical box is usually positioned towards the end of your rig so it makes sense to move it back a little bit i do like the ones that have them on the back side it does make it more convenient for that water hookup and all that is looking nice oh the tanks are on top of each other now that the pools are on top of each other and it only comes with the Nautilus P4. Oh wow, that's a, I think that would be an upgrade from ours because we have the P3, but there's less. Wow, there's less knobs and it still does the exact same thing. That is so great. I really like that. And wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing that it comes with the Lippert 3.0 grounding system, which does come with the auto level and the auto retract, which is great to have. Easy, quick to go. All right, and here is a cool uh, look at all the different styles that they have in this area right here. They've got the three, the two, 2903 RL. They've got the 3503 GK, and then the one we just went through, the 3704 bunkhouse. And here are the specs of it. All right, so I'm curious about these Imagines. This is the 2024 Grand Design Imagine 25 RL. We're walking by, the honey wants to get going. I thought she wanted to come here for a long time. I didn't know it was just for a good time, but I'm gonna check out this front part area first. These are a little small, so I can't imagine we would be in them, but I mean, plenty of space for just a couple of people, maybe even one or two kids. Definitely no room for kids to sleep in here. Definitely not, but the shower looks nice with the skylights. Of course, I like that. So me and Baron could definitely be in here but I don't think the rest of the family would fit. We're gonna have to find something a little bigger. Check out the beautiful design of this solitude. They've got the rear kitchen, so the kitchen's in the back. There's no bunk. This has one bedroom, master bedroom, big old bathroom. Four burner, this is huge though. This is absolutely huge. This looks almost residential to me. But I just think this is super cool with the residential fridge and this beautiful island right here and all of this beautiful counter space. Man, a man can dream, right? But we gotta wait for the kids to grow up, which I don't want them to do. I want them to stay little forever. But unfortunately, when that day does come of them leaving the nest, this is definitely a potential. Oh, look at this, folks. Beautiful bar workspace that looks off into the living room. You watch TV, you can work right there, you can do whatever you want. Tons of room for activities. All right, the next one we're going to check out is this super cheap Reflection 27 bunkhouse. Let's take a look. Beautiful, giant, big living room area with tons of seating. I absolutely love the bar room or the uh, booth seating that goes all the way around let's check out the bunks looks like it's pet friendly that's super duper cool i do like the way this is designed i feel like it flows a lot better it's a lot more convenient not too many room for toys which i wish i wish there was a little bit more room because this is really nice i like the way it's laid out but check out this kitchen area beautiful counter space i love the additional counter space that comes with the folding table there tiny 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 little three burner which is just enough like i keep saying that's just enough for what we do we don't need all four or five of those burners that you've seen in some of them tons of counter space absolutely wonderful amount of counter space several cabinets 
for additional storage as well. Getting into where the bathroom area is, kind of tight, actually kind of big, not too bad. The glass doors we found out are actually extremely heavy, so we did ourselves a favor and removed it. I like the additional storage up there, that's nice. And then getting into the bedroom area, we've got these little munchkins in here showing us around. What do you want to show us? The window? Yes, let's look out the window. People watching, that's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, There's so woo. much to do, so much to see. Would you like to go see the bunk houses? You guys go check that out while I show the people around in here. Not as much storage as you'd find in the one that we have, but this is a reflection. It is a different model, different style. So that's going to explain why there's a big difference. The underbase storage is actually pretty nice compared to the size. This is a smaller unit compared to the speaker. I think it's somewhere between 35 to 39. It's got the regular pin box and then area for generator or additional storage. Let's go take a check at the water system here. They've got the white P4, which I think is pretty neat. I do like that it only comes with three knobs. It makes things a lot more simple and easy. And it does come with the Lippert 3.0 gallon control. That's pretty cool. And then around the back here is something that I think is super duper unique. Such an, a smart thing to do. They put the electrical hookup on the back side there. All right, y'all, we made it to Tiffin. And let's go check them out. Well, first, got a cool car. Let's go check this Allegro bus out. Check this out, y'all. All right, so... That's what we're looking at. Wow, this is so nice, you guys. So here's the couch. You got your first half back. And then this huge king bed. Look at that, you guys. It's so amazing. And then look at this shower. Oh my gosh. This is luxury for sure. Look at the double vanity. And then they have their own walk-in closet. This is crazy. No wonder why this is half a mil. This is their power system here. They even have their shoe cubby, more storage, and they even have a built-in safe. And then check this out. Your own washer and dryer. Now I'm going to get an up close view of the shower. That is amazing. All right, you guys, this is the kitchen. And then look, it even has a dishwasher. And we want to check, you know, stuff to see if we were picking the right stuff. And I didn't take pictures of it. has an expandable countertop there. And then this is the cabin. This tipping lot is huge, but I need to get to a meet and greet at 2 o'clock. So let's go. This is the one that we just filmed, you guys. That is awesome. Love the paint job. Check this out, folks. The bar clay. You get private tours only. I think these are the two people giving the private tours, but I swear we've seen this at Thousand Trails Orlando and other places like that. We've seen this because I've noticed how beautiful it looks and I always wanted to see it. I don't think we're going to get a private tour today, but it's definitely something to check out. I think it's one of the most wonderful designs I've seen in an RV. It literally reminds me of a like cabin type home in the woods, which from what I can see from the inside, it doesn't look like a cabin, but it is very luxurious. So that thing is super duper nice. All right, I found it again, the Accolade XT. This is the one that has that super cool paint job and I definitely want to get inside and check this out. But let's take a look at the layout here. You've got your giant king size bed, you've got your cabinets, you got your shower, your bathroom right in the middle there for the bedroom. Then you've got your residential area, your living room. Right here, there's your kitchen and then your driving area, of course. And But there's a good look at some of the features that it comes with the easy drive the ford f600 4x4 chassis rugged all-terrain exterior with integrated front and rear auxiliary lighting fully enclosed basement storage and holding tanks how cool and the carefree awning motion system which that thing goes all the way across as you can see there's awnings everywhere which i love why wouldn't you want awnings over your tv over your kitchen over everything 
Here's a quick peek at the actual driving area on the inside. Nothing super duper unique, but it is still nice. Check this out, we're walking trying to get to some meet and greet and I just found all the areas with the beautiful golf carts that I want so bad. I don't see a green one though. I would love a green one. It's weird that they don't come with the uh, roofs on these ones, but maybe that makes them cheaper. And right on the other side, they've got like luxury golf carts. Holy moly, those ones are super duper cool. And here comes a parade again. <laughs> How funny, they keep finding us. Okay, that's what we need. We need a custom design one that says taking risks. It looks so angry from the front. Holy moly, you guys see that? What yeah. do you think about those golf carts? Would you like one of those? That one looks like trying something new. Try, yeah, that's right. It does look like trying something new. What if that's theirs? Good observation, Jax. All right, we're back in the booths and we're coming up on Thousand Trails and the honey is so excited because we have a meet and greet to do here. So I'm falling behind, but I'm coming. We're coming, we're coming. And this is who we're meeting. Hello. Big hug. They've been friends for a while. How are you doing? I'm George. Pleasure to meet you. Right, we're gonna chit chat for a minute and we'll tune back in with you guys. All right, so once again, if you guys do not know, we are part of the Thousand Trails and we found their booth. Thank goodness the honey's over there talking to the wild thornberries and check out all of the locations that they have. Now we are on the East Coast right now. Florida is very limited, which we found out, but once we head to that West Coast, I am so excited to travel up that coast and hit all of these little spots because that sounds absolutely amazing. And if you are interested in joining Thousand Trails because this is something you might want to get into or you're already into it and wondering if this is right for you, trust me, it's right for you. Multiple membership options, tons of different financing options. This is definitely the place to be. All right, y'all. So this is Sharon. Yes, come closer. This okay, is Sharon okay. with A Thousand Trails. This is the lady who's been working with us that has got us all of our cool perks with the Thousand Trails Club. And we're looking to upgrade soon, so we're in contact with her now. And I'm going to give her a huge hug because she's worked wonderful. So much magic. She's made so much magic happen. Of course, you guys have seen the show. You're watching the episodes. Everything that we've done is thanks to her right here. Her and her husband. So definitely a big thank you to you. Huge thank you. <laughs> Right, found a nice cozy corner to chill out while the honey takes the kids to the bathroom. I'm waiting. You can't find the men's bathroom. There's only a women's bathroom. So we're going to chill here for a minute. I think I'm going to end this video right now. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on all notifications so you never miss a video because we are posting daily, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you check it out. And I'll catch you in the next one.